Hello, welcome to this tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Marker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some super realistic render in Enscape. So let's get to work. I'm going to focus on my camera in this part of my job. And we have some type of coffee shop in this place. So I'm going to click on the visual setting for starting my job. And I'm going to use the field of view to decreasing my camera lens from my main target. So Something like that can be really good, but if I want to fix it, I can press F on my keyboard and switch to one of the uh, previews that I saved before this tutorial. So, render number 2 is my favorite rendering camera shot, and I will close the uh, view management in here. So, if I want to uh, talk about the field of view, when you decrease the field of view, you can zoom to your target, and when you increase it, you can make your distance much far than the past. So uh, some number about 62 is my favorite number for this render. And my exposure is 51. So I want to play with the depth of field to reach to the best result. For example, some place like that with this height light is really good and nice for my job. 5.11 and the depth of field's power is something about 7%. So I will decrease it to the 7 person that you can see the changes in environment very simple and easy my outline in here is the 7 and in the image bar we have many different type of settings for setting but right now I'm going to talk about the correction all of the tutorials in the SketchUp Arc Studio related to when we turn on the auto contrast what will happen but this time I want to turn them off and use the highlights and shadows manually I need more shadows for my interior design as you can see some different places so I will type the uh, shadow some number about 21 and the uh, highlights for me is about 9% for the uh, saturation as you can see the most template and theme color in this part of the area is some type of warm color so I need to hold it on this color so I will increase it to the 102 percent and the color temperature is about 6200 Kelvin. Motion blur is completely zero because it's not really important but lens flare is some number between the uh, 40 to 60. For understanding better about the lens flare look at these lights in the roof. When I increase the uh, bloom option I can see more effects in front of the lights and it's really natural so I will change it to the uh, 32 and decrease the lens flare to the uh, 44. Some type of numbers in lens flare and bloom work equal and have some type of same mechanism for working. Wignate is about 38% and in the atmosphere I want to change some other type of settings for the rendering. So, first setting related to the night sky brightness. You can increase the night sky brightness from 100 to the 144 or some more values. Because the time of the day in this render is completely night and we have some interior dark rendering. So, for improving this problem and fixing this problem, you can increase uh, this number to the 144 percent. Shadow sharpness. Look at this place in my render. As you can see, we have some natural shadows from the uh, spotlights, hidden lights, or halogen or IES profiles. So, as you can see, when I increase the uh, shadow sharpness in my environment, I can see more details of my shadow. But it's totally not realistic. For this type of interior renderings, you need to decrease the uh, shadow sharpness. For example, some number about 22 can be good and artificial light brightness our next element so I'm gonna press F on my keyboard view management will be appear for me so render number two is the best camera shot that I have in here I have many other type of rendering shots for example render number one something like that or render number three related to the back side of this counter so I prefer to choose render number two and artificial light brightness related to all of these artificial lights in my environment Look at these spotlights on the ceiling. When I increase the artificial light brightness, the most power of the uh, lighting source in my environment will be increased for me. 98% is the normal number for these type of renderings. 
but don't worry about the uh, sometimes it get darker because it can be fixed very fast in the main bar everything is good for me and now time for the rendering but before I do this work in the output I will change my resolution to some number like 9222 1600 and some type of render like this is much better for my job for increasing more of your rendering quality you can change the file format to the PNG because PNG format have more quality from the JPG format so I will close it in here my outline is about 6% everything is good for me I can increase the path field a little bit not too much and close the visual settings so time for the rendering I only want to press shift and f11 on my keyboard or you can click on the batch rendering or screenshot in here and save it as the PNG on your desktop and press save as you can see, creating these type of super realistic renders in Enscape only need a few minutes and patience. So it's really good and you can see all the details in your job. It's about 53% and it will be 90, 100 and over. So I'll close it in here. If you like this video and if it's useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. And this is the uh, final render that we have in here. The quality is incredible and you can use in different type of projects. Enscape can increase your finance in architecture much more than the past because 3D visualizing is one of the best and useful jobs in around the architecture jobs and programs. So thanks for your watching. Thanks for your support. Please subscribe and save this video if you like this video. We need your support and goodbye.